Well, the uh, the primary message that uh, that I like to get across uh, to people is uh, that we have been often misguided in the past um, in chasing things that uh, that ultimately are not important in in well cleaning and well rehabilitation and you know the one of the things that I've that I often say is that we tend to focus too much on the bacteria when there are way more significant problems that are a lot more difficult to address in, in, in maintaining and cleaning water wells. So that's one of the messages that I that I like to get across. In addition to that, one of the things that I've recognized, um, you know, some time ago, dating back to the 1990s already, is that is that we historically wait way too long uh, before we do anything on wells, and part of that is because of our reliance on what I term feedback monitoring, uh, monitoring the specific capacity, gallons per minute per foot drawdown, and also monitoring water quality that we don't pick problems up early enough. So. Another one of the messages that I um, find very important is, uh, in understanding is the importance of time-based approaches in well cleaning, well rehab, and well maintenance is that we have to just establish maintenance intervals based upon a variety of different conditions in, in, in wells. And some of those conditions include water quality, of course, uh, mineral loading, iron and manganese concentrations, as an example and also operational details that um, will determine the frequency at which you will have you know, deposited material that's significant enough um, to start causing problems. And the primary goal is to maintain uh, peak efficiency, to maintain uh, the best water quality produced from groundwater supplies. And the, uh, the way that we uh, primarily do that now is by managing um, the deposits on a more frequent basis instead of waiting for significant material to uh, build up in and around water wells and then try to um, try to remove 100% of that material which can be um, more difficult to to achieve if you've waited too long. So you know the approach that I normally uh, take in uh, is, is you know uh, explaining the type of problems that we um, that we experience in water wells, uh, as in loss of production issues, uh, loss of, uh, of efficiency that leads to higher pumping costs, uh, changes in water quality, uh, such as taste and odor issues, discolorations, failures on bacteriological tests. All of these things are very much uh, related. And then I go through, uh, you know, uh, various uh, approaches that we can that we can take to effectively uh, clean and maintain uh, maintain water wells. And the direction that um, that we're taking in the industry is primarily more of a proactive approach um, that um, you know involves, uh, as I already mentioned, the time-based maintenance approach. But it's done often on an annualized basis. And you're removing the uh, deposited material when it is softer in nature and not very extensively with some some minerals associated with it, but you don't wait till it becomes really encrusted and very and very hardened. So those are the type of, uh, of maintenance approaches that uh, that we've been establishing for for some time now. So um, so I look forward to uh, you know presenting again at the uh, at the national conference of course the annual conference um, in Las Vegas and uh, and look forward to uh, you know speaking to as many people as possible